1,394 mile journey ahead of us. It's the 2nd of January, we're about to set off later tonight, uh, booked for the Euro Tunnel at 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, a couple of upgrades to the van, we've fitted some left-hand drive headlight, a little bit of tape over them at the moment for the UK, but as soon as we get to the Euro Tunnel we'll rip that tape off. Um, upgraded the bulbs as well, so hopefully it'll be a lot better driving at night in Europe. Cupboards are getting filled up. Uh, there's our battery ready for powering our fridge, a load of electrical stuff in there, uh, ready for Portugal. Um, basically, loading this van as much as we can. Every time there's a gap, we fill it with a toilet roll to pad it out and stop it rattling. And a good way of taking toilet rolls. We have another little upgrade we've done. We've fitted a little floor, so it's all flat on the floor now. Um, just a bit of um, laminate flooring. So, lots of rooms in here. In a little while, this will be completely full. But getting excited now, ready to go off to Portugal. At last, after this freezing cold British weather, it's a sunny day. Perfect for traveling. Christmas tree is ready for the dump. What we have done, we've both been working for the last 10 weeks, 11 weeks. Um, I've worked delivering pizzas and stacking shelves for a big orange supermarket. And Jackie's been um, working in an egg factory on a morning shift for 10 weeks. So we've earned a bit of money to pay for our travels, to pay some of our British running costs, but uh, it's all worth it. We're gonna get three months off now, hopefully in the lovely warm weather in Portugal. to arrive about 1.30 in the Euro Tunnel. We've got about 130 miles to go. Roads are really quiet. We're on the main M4 towards London. Bit disappointing. We're hoping to use a duty free, but it's closed. Probably does not open until the main hourly shuttles or half hourly shuttles. But some good news, we got here at half one and they put us on the a train that's two hours earlier, so that's great. Well, we're coming through the tunnel. We've been on it for 25 minutes. There's the two dogs settled in. They enjoyed their little dog walk at the Euro Tunnel terminal. And I think the next stop, once we get to France, we're probably going to drive about an hour and then pull over at the services. But yeah, great, we're two hours ahead of schedule already. Right, that's where we stopped for the night. We got there about five o'clock. We're only about 10 kilometers south of Calais. Stopped about five in the morning. Uh, thought we'd stop for an hour. It's now half nine in the morning, French time. We've all had a few hours kit and our next stop is going to be a place in Tours that we've looked up on the um, park for the night. Car park, a uh, closed swimming lake uh, with a nice dog walk. So it's about four and a half hours away sat nav saying we'll get there about 2.15 so we're going to set off on the next leg of the journey all set up parked at the lake in tours in france so we're going to stay the night here and then hoping to make it down to burgos in spain tomorrow which is about seven hours away okay we're about to set off onto our 
next leg of a journey. We're hoping to get to Burgos, Spain. It's a great little stop, even though it's quite noisy, especially with a, on a, with a pop-top uh, van. Slept like a log. Went, we went to bed by eight and didn't get up till quarter to nine this morning, so that's French time. But sort of 12 hours in the pop-top bed, brilliant. So there's our journey ahead, 787 kilometers, seven hours, three minutes. Hopefully we'll be in Spain, camped up by about 4.30 later. Might check a few clips of the journey. We're just about 50 miles north of Bordeaux, pulled into a nice services. We've done about two and a half hours driving. We do have a problem with the um, windscreen wipers going on and off. So probably gonna have to go to a VW garage. I know there's one in Tamar, so we'll probably end up going there. Hopefully there's no rain for the rest of the journey. Very high tech toilets. It's got the hand washing, automatic toilet. There is no toilets here, I don't think, but that's how they are here. Bin, paper, locks. Even got a radio and it all disinfects when you press the flush and when you shut the door, it disinfects itself. So, pretty good public toilet, especially for services, way better than the UK. Just pulled into an amazing stop just as you cross the Spanish border past Iran or Iram. It's a truck stop and there's a big cafe up here with a view all over the valley. Beautiful sunshine, over 20 degrees. Um, we've got the dogs exploring and doing their business and Jackie's on her way up to see yeah yeah the grazing the view from the cafe is spectacular got myself a can of San Miguel for later quite a breathtaking view really definitely worth a stop here if you drive to Spain Looking from the cafe, that's I think that's the port of San Sebastian or Saint Sebastian and the sea just behind it. But it's 20 degrees up here and looking around you wouldn't think you're in Spain but uh, we're in the green part of Spain. I was just sitting here, it's gone to 23 degrees. We've got 220 kilometres to go, just over two hours and we'll be going through the Spanish tunnels um, and we're heading towards Burgos for our park for the night there in the middle of town. kilometers of thick cold freezing frog we just fog we just got through it we're about 40 50 kilometers from Portugal and the Sun has just come out at last so we haven't gone above about 1.5 centigrade today so far hopefully now temperature will start picking up dogs are having a little walk in this Spanish lay-by 
with the ice, rock hard, still on the mirrors. Not what you expect from Spain. Number plate all iced up as well. But from now on, hopefully it all changes. <laughs> oh, it's still there. Oh, all oh, looking a bit green at this end. Looks like still parking here. Yeah, all in one piece, looking good. been let out looks a bit rubbly the next video will be looking around the house we're going to see what water damage is if any and how the house is after leaving it three months